Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my May favorites. So if you're interested in hearing what I've been loving this month, then just keep watching. May was a good month for makeup. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have a ton of time to try a bunch of new products, but I definitely found some good gems that I have been loving this month. I wish I had the chance to experiment with more, but this stuff uh, from first go, I was like, this is amazing. So I'm actually going to start off with the cheek products. I don't have any base products, surprisingly, so I guess we'll just go to bronzers. I have a couple bronzers. So the first bronzer that I've been obsessed with, and I think this is like at the top of my favorites list this month, is the Fenty Bronzer in Shady Biz. All of the hype on these bronzers were no joke. Now, if you saw my Sephora VIB sale haul, I did actually get this in a little kit. So this is a mini, and then it also came with uh, one of the mini matchsticks, but I got this because I didn't want to pay full price for the bronzer because getting this little sample size and then the little matchstick was cheaper but honestly I would not mind going back and buying the full size once I run out of this or at least this could be my travel bronzer this is my current favorite bronzer I have not had a bronzer that blended so smooth and evenly onto my skin a lot of times with bronzers I notice sometimes it'll leave like a circle where the brush hit and I have no problems blending that out that's not a big deal but with this I haven't had that happen this just goes on so buttery smooth it looks so even and it's a really nice color this is the second lightest shade there is a lighter shade for lighter skin tones which I'm sure you all know by now but yeah this bronzer is amazing I don't know why it took me so long to jump onto that but wow this is amazing so if you're looking for a new bronzer definitely pick this up I will link down below the little mini set that I bought this in if you want to check that out and then I will link the full-size bronzer as well but this is my current favorite bronzer it is amazing so this next item is a, another bronzer I definitely have been loving the Fenty a little bit more but I've been super impressed with this bronzer anyways so I wanted to mention it because I still really really like it and that is the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Tequila Tequila Tan. This one is a little bit lighter than the Fenty one that I have and a tad bit more cool tone. So I've been reaching for this when I don't want something quite as warm. Uh, this is a very nice formula as well. It blends out pretty evenly. It picks up on the brush very well. So I have been loving this bronzer as well. I've always been intrigued by the Kylie blushes and bronzers and I finally picked them up about a month ago and I have been loving this bronzer. I think it's a very nice quality bronzer and I really like the color of it. I love the packaging. So this bronzer is definitely a hit. I've been enjoying this fully. Of course, let's move on to blushes. You guys know I am a huge blush addict. So sticking with the Kylie Cosmetics things, I've been loving the Kylie Cosmetics blushes. Uh, so I did purchase a pack of six. I gave one to my mom, but I've been loving the five that I have kept. Now I've been super into glowy, shiny, highlighty blushes. So these were a bit of a change for me because these are all a matte finish. So at first I liked it, but I didn't love it because I was so used to seeing that glow. But these are just beautiful blushes that deposit the perfect amount of color. Uh, and her line has such beautiful blush choices. So if you're looking for a very light blush, you don't like anything too bright, I would recommend Close to Perfect. This is a beautiful, almost neutral peachy blush. Kitten Baby is also a really beautiful one for more fair skin tones. Pink Power has been a favorite of mine because I love a good bright pink blush. Uh, so I've been loving this one. I really just love pink pink blushes so if you like pink blushes this one is awesome we're going shopping is more of a peachy pink blush again really really gorgeous baddie on the block another kind of softer pink so i really have been liking these more pink blushes but she has so many beautiful shades in her line and the formula just blends on so beautifully they have the perfect amount of pigmentation to them like i said they are more of a satin matte finish so there's a bunch of shiny blushes out on the market right now if you don't like that you will love these blushes i've been loving the formula of them and then of course the whole aesthetic of them is just so beautiful so 
I have been grabbing for those a ton lately, sticking to blush. I've also been into the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. These came out a month or two ago, and I have on the low low been loving these. I did talk about the Peach Gasm. I believe I have a whole review of this one, and I liked it a lot, but I'm much more of a pink blush kind of person. As you can see, I just love pink. So I also ended up eventually picking up Pink Gasm, and I am in love love with Pinkgasm. Peachgasm is beautiful as well for certain looks, but I definitely find myself grabbing for Pinkgasm more just because of my preferences. So I'm going to swatch them side by side so you can see. So right here is Peachgasm. This one is Pinkgasm. As you can see, they are very, very highlighty. If you do have a lot of texture on your cheeks, just be aware of that. They aren't the most pigmented, so when you blend them out, it is more of just a soft color. Uh, with two layers, I built a soft pink flush on my cheek, but as you can see, my entire cheek is highlighty. So if you don't like that, you won't like these. But I think overall, this just gives a beautiful summer glow. So when we hit more into the summer where the sun's going to be shining and you don't want to wear too much powders, I think these are amazing. And you can throw these on as a blush and highlight because it does give you that sheen. So I have been loving these way more than I thought I would. At first, I thought it was an awkward product because it was awkwardly not a highlight, but awkwardly too light to be a blush. But I really have learned to love this formula. And if you been thinking about these I definitely would recommend picking at least one of these up they blend so beautifully if you want more of a sheer glowy look blend these out with a sponge and then if you want a tad bit more pigmentation it's not gonna make too much of a difference but it will help if you do blend out your fingers to keep a little bit more of that color but regardless I've been loving these these are beautiful and I mean my cheeks are so pretty thanks to these so I love these let's move on to actual highlights so I mentioned in my last video that I I've been kind of really into Tom Ford. <laughs> So I did pick up this sheer highlighting duo. This is in the shade Reflex Guilt, and this is one of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever used. Definitely my current favorite of the moment. Now you get more of a pink one down here and then a golden one up here. I love the option of a pink or a golden highlight uh, because, you know, depending on the tone of the look, you might want to change it up. Now what I will say is this probably isn't the perfect highlighting duo for my skin tone. I am wearing the pink right now. That's what's giving a lot of glow up here. I mean, my whole face is like glowy right now. But that's what's giving that really intense glow. And this does not emphasize texture. It's one of the smoothest highlights I've ever used. It is a bit too dark for me. You can kind of see straight on a little bit of a dark cast. But the finish and sheen that it does give when the light hits it makes up for that. So for that reason, I just love the finish on the skin so much that I still continue to use this even though it's slightly too dark for me. But if you are a medium skin tone, this is going to be perfect on you. How buttery, smooth, and shiny it is, I use it anyways. I think it is a fabulous highlighting duo. Very pricey. I did get this for 50% off because they do sell it at my local cosmetic company outlet. If you don't want to pay full price, maybe check that out. But oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. From first go with this, I used it and I was like, oh, that's a highlight. So been loving that. I really think the formula of this is something different. So uh, moving onwards, we're going to move on to one of my personal favorite categories, eyeshadow palettes. You guys know I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palettes. I collect them. I love having them. So this first one is a surprise to me. This was something that I wasn't even going to pick up in the first place, but I just, on a whim during the Sephora VIB sale, I did pick it up. And this is the NARS Voyager eyeshadow palette in the shade Suede. So it's really tiny, but I've just been loving this palette. Palette. I've been loving a lot of more cool tone neutral looks. I mean, obviously I'm not wearing that now. I've been liking pink looks too. But uh, when I've been going for a more neutral look, I've been liking it to lean a little bit more cool or neutral, not really warm. And uh, I think this is perfect for that. Uh, so this is just really cute. It's not super original. I have all of these shades in here, but I just like how cute and tiny it is and how it's all here in one. It is awesome NARS quality, and I've just been using this a lot more than I thought I would. This is perfect for the office or just for 
anybody. You can mix and match these shadows for so many different occasions. And not to mention, it's just like the tiniest, cutest little uh, palette. And yeah, NARS really did a good job with this formula. It took me a while to pick this up. I told you guys that I wasn't going to, but this just, I thought about it too much. And then I picked it up and I have been loving it. A another eyeshadow palette that I've been loving. I will be honest, I've only used it twice but I know I love it. I just haven't had much opportunities to wear it, but if I had more, I definitely would have worn it. And it is the Huda Beauty Topaz palette. Now this, I just love the undertones to this palette. And I know I said I haven't been really liking warm looks, but this creates such a pretty looks. It makes me want to wear more warm colors, even though this probably isn't true, but I feel like this palette is different. This palette inspires me when I look at it. I did wear this in a video and you guys were obsessed with the look. I didn't film a tutorial. I probably won't ever film that tutorial, uh, but I used this and I just created a halo eye. I used these two on the outsides. This as a transition, this to deepen everything, and this color on the lid. So hopefully that helps you if you were curious about that look. But I love this palette. I just love the color story in this. I saw online it was limited edition, so you might want to pick it up. I don't know how accurate that is, but on Sephora, it says this one is limited edition. And this is definitely one of my favorite of her Obsessions palettes. And I've been obsessed with this color story. Okay, so the last eyeshadow palette is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And this is the ColourPop Sweet Talk eyeshadow palette. Oh, it took me a while to use this. I had this sitting in my collection for a while, but I knew I was going to love this. I had to order it as soon as I saw it. Uh, this is one of my favorite palettes that ColourPop has ever come out with. I just think this color story really speaks to me. It's perfect for spring and summer. Like I said, I'm wearing a simple pink eyeshadow look that I created from this. I love the different textures in this palette. We have glitters, their super shock formula, and their really nice matte formula. It's just so good for the price. I cannot believe that ColourPop sells this at the price that they do. This beats out some higher end quality eyeshadows. And if you are balling on a budget, definitely look into any ColourPop eyeshadow palette. But this one is definitely one of my favorites that they've recently come out with. Not to mention the packaging is gorgeous. And this is just the perfect palette for spring and summer, honestly. So if you like more pinky springy looks and you want to spend a little bit less money this is amazing i've been obsessed with it so let's move on to lips i have three lipsticks to show you guys so this first one is actually the one that i am wearing now i wasn't going to put this in my favorites but then i realized i actually use this quite a lot because i've been really into pink looks so this has been my go-to pink lipstick for the spring and pink looks and this is the charlotte tilbury lipstick in the shade blushing dream now this is her kissing formula which is my personal favorite formula from charlotte uh, it's very moisturizing very shiny and i don't know this just goes so well for peachy or pinky looks so i think if you're looking for a really good summer color this is going to be it. This is going to be beautiful in a lot of brides. I can see brides really liking this. And it's just a really great everyday pink without being too obnoxious. So you guys know I am a huge Charlotte Tilbury lipstick fan. So this one has been my current favorite. The one that I've been grabbing for the most. Also, I have a lipstick from Tom Ford. Uh, this has just been my go-to nude lipstick for crazy looks that I've been doing for Instagram and YouTube. This is the shade Deceiver. It's just so like blank peach. Like you can hardly see it. This with a brown eyeliner is beautiful. The formula is so creamy. It's so easy to work with. It's so comfortable on the lips. And so yeah, if you were looking for a really good nude lipstick from the Tom Ford line, I'm not saying you have to spend the money that this costs, but if you're looking into Tom Ford lipsticks and you're into more peachy nudes, I think you will really like this one because this is just super light peachy color and I really, really like it. And then the last lipstick that I have to show you, I actually did a little bit kind of a review on this. This is from the new Gucci lipstick collection um, and this is in the shade The Painted Veil and this is just the most 
beautiful everyday color. Uh, if you work a regular nine to five office job, I just imagine this being the perfect color. It's the perfect everyday nude, honestly. It's not too dark or bright, uh, but it doesn't completely erase your lips by any means. So this is just one of those colors that you can throw on without even looking in a mirror. I've been really into this lipstick. And the formula of this is so moisturizing and comfortable and the packaging, super cute. So yeah, Gucci did a really good job with this lipstick. So let's move more into the tools portion of this video. Brushes, I was sent these, but of course these are my honest opinions. <laughs> um, it's from this company called Refer. They are a new brush company. And so they sent me one of their sets. So it comes with five brushes and these are so soft and so beautiful these i'm i would compare these to sonia g and wayne goss they are just as good quality i believe these are made in japan which is also where sonia g and wayne goss brushes are made so that would definitely explain that my personal favorite brushes have been the 05. This is the perfect brush for a sculpted bronze look. Now, I honestly haven't even been using this on myself that much because it's been living in my makeup kit and has been used on all my clients. So that should tell you something. It's just so soft. Uh, these are natural hair brushes. They pick up powder very well. And again, this is just the perfect shape because you can twist it, you know, to cover more surface area or you can turn it to give a more sculpted look. And again, super duper soft. I've also been using the number four brush a lot. I love a good angled blush brush and I don't know why I don't own that many flat shader brushes. So the fact that I could add the number two brush in was great. This is just great for packing on color. But I mean, nonetheless, all of these brushes are really good. Totally recommend these. These are like super duper high quality brushes. The last item that I have for you, I have been killing this. This is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. I've just heard so many makeup artists talk about it and I just never really bought it. And then I did end up purchasing it for the Sephora VIB sale and it's been a month and I am already down here uh, because I just wash my brushes so much. I've had a busy month since it's wedding season and this just makes everything so much easier. This gets rid of product from the brush so well. I've always struggled getting gloss and stuff out of my lip brushes and this gets it all out. On my makeup palette, the black gel eyeliner that I use will dry and I always struggle to get that off. This gets it off. Like this is amazing. This really gets the makeup off of the brushes. Not to mention uh, it does kill bacteria so this is a new staple in my makeup kit and I wouldn't just recommend it for makeup artists like honestly this is for everybody this gets the gunk out of your brushes it is amazing it keeps your brushes sanitary and I've been loving this so if you've been looking for a brush cleanser look into this it's quick drying you don't have to clean your brushes in the sink and go through that whole shebang just turn on the TV put a towel down and just start wiping your brushes it gets the product off the color off and and it sanitizes so this has been amazing they have a bigger size on sephora and i want to order that so this is amazing i cannot stress enough how much you need this all right so that leads us to the last section of my favorites so i started this last month where i always want to end with talking about a channel that i've been loving or that i want to recommend to you guys so this channel i have been following for quite some time now we are friends but I just want you to know how great her content is and that is my friend Tara Lynn. She is amazing. She's literally one of the sweetest people on the internet. I am convinced. She is so kind-hearted and genuine and not to mention her makeup reviews are amazing. If you are looking for in-depth thorough makeup reviews, Tara Lynn will do it. Her foundation reviews, I wish I could do foundation reviews like her. She will like wear them for a full week, give you a play-by-play, -play, tell you every little detail you need to know about the foundation and how it will work for you. So if you are really into that, definitely check out her channel. You can see just by her community posts and what she says in her videos that she truly does care about her subscribers and what they want to see and she really is just a breath of fresh air in the beauty community and she creates good quality content so i had to mention her this month hi tara i hope you're watching so if you haven't already checked out her channel please go over there tell her i said hi tell her i sent you and you will not regret it honestly 
Okay, so that is all I have for this month's favorites. I had a lot more than I had last month, and I was definitely a chatterbox today. <laughs> so let me know if you will be trying out any of my favorites. I think you guys will like them. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day.